Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this Friday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. It's Friday. You know what that means, right? Free Coaching Friday. And another installment of Stump the Coach. So, uh, if you have a question, a comment, or something you think will stump me up, go ahead and drop it down there in the comments. Somebody's already given a thumbs up, but I haven't gotten a comment yet, so you still have a chance to win. First to comment this morning. All right. Um, so to get the rest of my early stuff out of the way so that you can have time to leave your question, your comment, or uh, issue you want to try and stump me with, if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, uh, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, any of those, uh, SoundCloud's on SoundCloud, uh, be sure to head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can join in the conversation here, leave comments on the live stream, whether it's still live or if you're watching on the replay. The comments still show up on my phone and you still get uh, a comment back from me. So don't forego that opportunity. Cliff, wow, Cliff Buddy has won. The first to comment contest today. Joe, Joe must be feeling, oh no. So it's, it's, uh, what is it today? Hot coffee day today. Joe must be getting ready for hot coffee. All right. So while you guys are thinking of a good question, something you can stump me with, I was scrolling through my favorite source, uh, of questions. And that would be Reddit. And I actually found a good one here and now I've lost it. Oh, this is a great one. The title of this, so this is, a, if you look, if you're not checking out uh, Reddit for some of this stuff, there's some great stuff there. This is on the, uh, the entrepreneur subreddit. The title of it is tired of doing BS. I'm going to skip down. There's a lot of backstory here, but we'll skip down to the, the meat of what he says. So for the successful entrepreneurs here, how did you guys make a living <clears throat> off of fulfilling work, work you thoroughly enjoyed and work that changes the world for the better? For the successful big dogs reading this post, please let me know if I am living in a fairy tale world or let me know if what I desire is possible in the world. So you got to read a lot of the backstory to understand uh, some of the context of that question. But there is an important point there that I want to get to today. The way that you frame the world, right? Cliff, Cliff deals with art. He understands this, right? The frame. Hey, Rusty. Good morning to you. Uh, the, the frame that you put around a piece of art can add to it or it can take away from it. Sometimes there's no frame at all, right? But the frame that you put around an event or or a set of circumstances can completely change the positive or negative outlook that you have on that event. Morning, Tim. Right? But just the frame that you put around it, you can have a beautiful piece of art and you put an ugly frame around it and when you look at it, it's like, oh, that's not nice. Or you can have a yeah, kind of okay piece of art. You put a nice frame around. It's like, oh, I really like the composition of that. Right? I mean, it changes the way that you look at it. And the the uh, circumstances and opportunities that face you every day, whether it's in your life, your job, or your business, the way you frame them has the same effect. Right? I was having this conversation at one point with my son before he passed about I think we were talking about uh, people that win the lotto, right? He, the question we were, the kind of topic we were talking about was why do bad things happen to good people or good things happen to bad people? And we kind of got to this discussion about winning the lotto. It's like most people think that's a good thing, right? He's like, yeah, that's an awesome thing. I'm like, yeah, except how many lives has it ruined, right? It, it's because of the framing that you put around that outcome. So in the context of this question that was showing up over here on Reddit, the context that you put around the work that you're doing can make it feel like BS or it can make it feel like solid gold. Right? So don't overlook the framing that you use when you are thinking about talking about the different things that happen to you. 
like having having someone join us on the live cast this morning. Who is that you brought with you this morning? Chloe. Chloe? Me, Chloe. Miss Sarah said, good morning, sweet girl. You should say good morning back. Good morning. So, you know, <clears throat> things happen. Things happen in life. Things happen in our job and our business. The way that you frame them, the way that you look at them, will have make it'll, it'll make all the difference in the world and whether it adds to your life or takes away from your life all right be mindful of the frames that you put around things because they have an impact don't they don't they <laughs> Can I kiss Mwah. all right that's it for today it's friday hold that right there it's Friday. This week happens to be Hot Coffee Friday, so if you're in Huntsville, come buy hot coffee today. By the way, today, it's at the Westin, not at Hudson Alpha. It's at the Westin, not at Hudson Alpha. So if you're going, go to the right place. If you get to Hudson Alpha and there's a whole different group of people there, you know you went to the wrong place. Uh, other than that, have a great Friday. Have a great weekend, and I'll be back on Monday. Hey, Jonathan, great to see you here this morning. Glad you made it, buddy. Glad all of you made it here. And look, if you, but only if, if you get value from the conversations and the time that we spend together each morning, please share this with somebody else that could benefit from that. They will appreciate it. Yes, I will appreciate it. But they will appreciate the opportunity to get connected with what I hope are these little energizing, uh, encouraging bits every morning. That's my goal is to give you something actionable, functional that you can use every morning to get out and have a great day. So share with your network, invite people over to join us. You want to say goodbye? Bye. You, Bye. You, you say, good, say goodnight, Gracie? Is that too much? All right. You guys have a great weekend. Be back here on Monday. Take care.